Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is I, Lunar Chris, and welcome to a reaction video. Today, I'm going to be taking a look at the newest video by Nintendo's YouTube channel, the Super Mario Maker 2 World Maker Update. Yeah, gives away the idea of what this is all about, but we'll get to that when we get to it. Because I promise you guys, you're really going to love the surprise. Like, very much. You really are. But anyway... I've already seen this trailer before. I've actually, like, watched it a few times. I even checked out a video on Arlo's channel just talking about the trailer and what it means for the future of Mario Maker 2. So, I figured I might as well toss my hat into the ring and just, you know, take a look at the video and give you my thoughts about, you know, everything that's in this update. So, this should be very exciting. Spoiler alert. But yeah, if you haven't already watched the trailer right now, do go watch it right now. It's on YouTube. It's on the. It's on Nintendo's YouTube channel, so you ain't got anything to lose. But without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's go. Thanks for playing the Super Mario Maker 2 game. We'll be releasing the last major update soon. Now, I am gonna admit this. I find it pretty disappointing that this is going to be the final major update for the game itself. Although, I guess maybe by this point in time, they're kind of starting to run out of ideas for new content for Mario Maker 2. Again, though, pretty disappointing, but I'll, I'll backtrack to that later on, at least by the end of the video. Now, let's -a go! This mushroom here is a little different. If Mario picks it up, he'll become Super Mario Bros. 2 Mario. Ride on enemies. And throw them at will. Now, I kind of was expecting Nintendo to incorporate some new styles for Mario Maker 2. Especially Mario 2, or Yoshi's Island for that matter. Although... I guess maybe they decided that it wasn't worth all the trouble, so they decided to relegate that idea to a power-up. Which, I'm not really against, honestly. I think it actually makes a lot of sense. Though, if this is confirming that there's not going to be any new styles for Mario Maker 2, then, yeah, I will actually consider that a bit of a pisser, really. Because, in all honesty, there's quite a lot of... There's quite a bit you could experiment with. You could try, I don't know, Mario Land 2, or uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe any Mario game in 2D. Any Mario game could actually work in 2D. Though, again, I'm not going to get too optimistic and, and just imagine that they'll add all these brand new styles, because at this point, I'm a little convinced that they're not going to add any new styles, but... You never know. Maybe they'll come up with a small update at some point in the future and incorporate something new, but really, I don't want to get my hopes up. Big enemies. Flying enemies, even chain chomps are fair game. You can even throw snowballs in snow-themed courses. The frogs... But yeah, the Super Mario Bros. 2 Shroom, a really cool addition nonetheless. I'll definitely say that. Suit lets you become Frog Mario. It lets you swim through water with ease and run across its surface. The power balloon lets you float with the fluffy grace only a balloon can muster. Now, the P balloon kind of works a little bit differently in this video as you just saw. I don't really know why they ended up changing it, but in this game, you have to push yourself around by pressing a button or something. Though, you can still freely move around, unlike, you know, just being able to move around freely in Mario Mario World. So, kind of weird change, but it looks fun nonetheless. I like the idea. Glide through the skies as Flying Squirrel Mario. Take out surrounding enemies in one throw with a boomerang. And you know, all throughout this power-up showcase, it kind of surprises me that they never actually had these in the game to begin with until now. Yeah, I'll be honest, that is just really weird to me, honestly. 
And this is something that I expected to be in Mario Maker 1, which, by the way, had a really limited pool of power-ups you could use. But it's really great to see that Nintendo is, cor is incorporating some more power-ups for Mario Maker 2. I just kind of wish you could use all of them throughout different styles. <clears throat> Although, maybe that would be a little bit too much work. But it would have been nice nonetheless. Another thing, I'm kind of surprised that the hammer suit in Mario 3 isn't in here. I mean, technically it is in the game, but it's only relegated to the Super Mario 3D world styles. So, that doesn't really count in my book. But for real though, it's really great to see a huge variety of power-ups. Even if you can't use each and every one of them across every different style, I really like these additions overall. So, good job Nintendo. A few slightly weird wearables also make an appearance. The cannon box lets you fire cannonballs from your face. Charge up for long range shots. Raise your elevation up to three times higher than usual by jumping with the propeller box. Now this actually kind of makes sense since, well, apparently the propeller shroom isn't in Mario Maker 2 like it was in Mario Maker 1. So yeah, pretty much just a solution, but a cool idea nonetheless. You can rush back down too. With the red POW box on your head, you can unleash a POW. It's good for three uses. Wear a Goomba mask to become one with the Goombas and fool your foes. Crouch down and you'll be even more convincing. Not gonna lie, this one is actually really cool, the Goomba mask. And upon wearing it, none of the enemies can actually harm you. Such a clever idea nonetheless. And I can see a lot of really cool level ideas coming out of it too. Don the bullet bill mask to gain the power of horizontal flight. Now this one... This one's kind of an interesting case to me. Because I feel like this was inspired by the plane levels from Super Mario Land. But unfortunately, you can't actually shoot. Which, I guess to be fair, does make sense. You're a freaking bullet, but... <sighs> but if they were to actually incorporate the idea of flying around and shooting stuff, I actually would have liked to have seen that here. You know, being a bullet, firing tiny bullets, shooting enemies, and destroying blocks that stand in your way. I actually would have loved to have seen that. But... I guess maybe this is pretty much the closest thing we're going to get to Super Mario Land content. At least, something that resembles Super Mario Land. I don't mean to be super, like, you know, I don't really mean to be, like, pessimistic or... Or, like, just super needy about what I want to see. I, I just feel like... I'm just throwing some suggestions out there. Fly as much as you'd like while time remains. The seven elite members of Bowser's army are ready for duty. This is definitely something I am more than glad is getting in the game. Because really, I felt that in Mario Maker 1, it felt insanely repetitive to just keep using the same two bosses over and over again. And any bosses, any original bosses at that, that you wanted to make, you had to use pre-existing enemies in the pool itself. So, yeah... I was pretty disappointed about that with Mario Maker 1, so it's super cool to see that the Koop Koopalings are finally back in the spotlight. As overly used as they are nowadays, especially in Mario Kart and Super Smash Bros. But still though, more bosses is always good in my books. And I'm sure everybody can agree on that front. Larry. Wendy. Now... I gotta say, and I don't know if this is something they're gonna change or not, but that sprite really sticks out like a sore thumb. All they did was just reuse the, like, Super Mario Bros. 3 sprite and slap it on the Mario World style. And, I don't know, it doesn't look that good. It just doesn't look that great. Probably the one thing I'm hoping that Nintendo actually changes. Not that it's really that much of a game breaker, but, ugh. Nah, I really don't like the look of that, honestly. Morton. 
Lemmy, Roy, Iggy, and Ludwig. Seriously, Ludwig looks really bad here too. So, again, I am hoping that they do end up changing this. I'm not entirely sure, but... I don't know, man. I really... I kind of don't like the looks of those sprites. They just... Like I said, they stick out like a sore thumb. They don't, they don't look that great. They're, they're washed out and don't really have that much coloration to them. They really do clash with the Mario World color palette, too. They each have their own moves to keep you on your toes in boss battles. The Cursed Key will sick the frightening Phanto on anyone who dares pick it up. Oh man, the temptation to pick it up! Or not! The bouncy qualities of the on-off trampoline can be activated with a switch. You can even use them like this. Mecha now, the two new gizmos that you can use in this game, really damn cool. The Cursed Key especially. That would really open up for some really interesting level ideas. And the uh, on-off trampolines, even more cool. It's really great to see that we have a variety of gizmos to use now. So, really now, this will open the door for a lot of really creative stuff in Mario Maker levels. Unlike with Mario Maker 1, where people just make levels and do whatever with them. Yeah, this is really cool. I like this. Koopas are wind-up automatons. The red ones shoot homing missiles. The blue ones attack with laser beams. And at night, they all come equipped with jet engines. Now, I'm also surprised about the fact that they didn't have this enemy from the beginning until now, but it's pretty cool, especially because it's got two brand new variants. One that shoots homing missiles and another that shoots lasers. Like, I don't know how they do it, but somehow they came up with lots of really creative ideas for the brand new enemy types. The only ones I kind of wish they had in the game were the, uh, the Unagis, the Charging Chooks. I don't know, just, again, throwing out a few suggestions here, but I really would have liked to have seen those enemies in the game. Introducing World Maker, a new mode that lets you create your own worlds. Select and place panels to build a route for your courses. Forge a path from the starting point to the castle. Build bridges, create hills, and change the look of the land in all sorts of ways. Then place the courses you've made along the path. You can even change your course icons. You might find yourself matching moving pictures in a bonus stage. Or taking a warp pipe to a far off island to run through a wonderfully coin filled course. You could really make your world stand out by changing the theme to underground, desert, snow, sky, forest, volcano, or outer space. In this way, you can make your own Super Mario game. A super world of up to eight worlds and 40 different courses. Now this, this, now this edition, and I'm sure everyone will agree with me on this, but this is easily the best addition to Super Mario Maker 2. It was kind of disappointing that Mario Maker 1 didn't have this feature, although given that the Wii U wasn't really doing very well at the time, I guess maybe it's understandable that Nintendo couldn't really support it all that much. So to see it finally in a game like this really does open the door for quite a lot of really creative things. People can finally now create their very own Mario games in a game about making levels. <laughs> I mean, it's called Super Mario Maker for crying out loud. So I'm really glad to see this in here. And I'm sure everybody will enjoy this feature a lot. I mean, of course, this doesn't mean there won't be any kinds of... 
Oh my god, my apologies. Of course, it doesn't won't. It, I can't speak today. It won't mean that there won't be any Kaizo levels thrown in there just for shits and giggles, but it's really great to see that Nintendo is finally incorporating something people have been wanting from Super Mario Maker 1. Again, understandable that they didn't have this in the original, but I was pretty disappointed that they didn't really have enough to work with. But with this new update that they're coming out, on top of all of the brand new assets that you can use, the gizmos, enemies, and bosses, this right here is the icing on the cake for this update. And it's just, it's just magical. It's absolutely magical. Just being able to like create your own worlds or pretty much build your own game. It's pretty much almost like building your own fan game within Mega Man Maker. Except here, unlike in Mega Man Maker, you can make games. Like, that just blows my mind. It's literally just like Wargroove. You can make games in the game itself, and people can play them. You see, this is exactly why I love Nintendo a lot. They always throw in some really great surprises that you probably might not ever see coming. So, unveil your very own super world in Course World. That way, you can take all your ideas that couldn't be contained in a single course and share them with people around the globe. And this is pretty much everything that is shown in the update. Just using it. The third update for Super Mario Maker 2 launches April 22nd. And there you guys have it. That is the video of the newest update for Mario Maker 2. Again, a bit disappointing that there that this is the final update for Mario Maker 2. But with all the content that is added, they really did send Mario Maker 2 out with a bang. So Good job, Nintendo. You're really great developers, and you really surprised the hell out of me with this update. So, yeah, as you could probably tell by now, I'm really ecstatic about this update. I mean, I don't really play too much Mario Maker 2, but I, I do genuinely love that Nintendo has been able to put in so much more for Mario Maker 2. So much more that people can finally create some brand new levels. And even inspire some brand new level designers out there. Create games. Like, dude, it it's so crazy. It almost feels like the reveal trailer for Mario Maker 2 all over again. Where they just came... It just came straight out of left field, my guy. It just came straight out of left field. And every single minute of it, it just feels so magical. It feels so magical. Like, I, I can't even believe it, dude. I can't even believe it. But yeah. Though, there are a few caveats to this update. For one, no new styles. Well, no new game styles. Pretty disappointing overall, and in my opinion, a complete missed opportunity. Although, if they could, they could try and incorporate that as DLC. Although... Again, it is highly unlikely they'll do that. I'm sure they don't really want to go through the trouble of like making brand new game styles and trying to make the mechanics as faithful to the original source material as possible. That's something I definitely, you know, could see happen. But, you know, given this is Nintendo, you never know if they're actually going to do it or not. Although, all that aside, everything else... Everything else is fantastic. So, at the time of this recording, it's the 21st, so that ultimately means this will be released tomorrow. So, yeah. That's pretty much the video itself, guys. I hope you all enjoyed that. And I hope you're looking forward to this update, because Mario Maker 2... Man, this game blows Mario Maker 1 out of the water by a long shot. So, with that said and done, that's going to do it for today, ladies and gentlemen. I bid you all the do, farewell, have yourselves a lovely day, and until next time, 
This is Lunar Chris signing out. All right, just a little bit of a post-production note here. I actually have this idea for Mario Maker 2 where Nintendo could start giving the game some smaller updates with uh, sm with uh, new enemies and like uh, maybe some new gizmos and brand new uh, power-ups to use. Kind of like what Crash Team Racing Natural Field is doing right now. Just kind of doing some small updates with new characters, carts, and whatnot. After all the Grand Prix that they've done, they blew their budget on that shit, but I would really love to see something like that done for Mario Maker 2. It's It would really benefit a lot if it had a lot much more to use. But honestly, that is just me. So let me know in the comments down below how you guys, what you guys, blah, 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 blah. What do you guys think about this new update for Mario Maker 2? I, do you think it's awesome? Is it a bit of a letdown? Do you feel some things could have been added to this update? Do comment down below. Alright, that's everything I have to say. Lunar Chris signing out.